17. Thank you. For two decades, I worked doing my childhood dream, just being the weatherman on TV. You know, it was my job to keep my families in my district and in my coverage area safe and prepared for what was ahead. And that's exactly what I'm doing in Congress. Making sure that our hometowns are ready for what's ahead. Like bringing millions of taxpayer dollars back home for infrastructure. Hundreds of Illinois, re Illinois 17 residents have been helped getting through the red tape, whether that's with their social security, the IRS, or VA benefits. $3 million coming back into the pockets of real people in our district. And some of you tonight may have been able to meet one of the most important people of them all, 98-year-old Rolf Svonik. You probably already know him, because as he says, I'm one lucky dude. <laughs> We stood up for reproductive rights and it's all when neighboring states just a mile to our west are attacking them. And Illinois made history electing its first LGBTQ member to Congress for a second time. Now, it's about coming together to do what's best for all of us. And I'm so proud to be the good neighbor to represent you in the 119th Congress of the United States. Of because of you, we can proudly say that every door we knocked, every yard sign we planted in a front yard, and every conversation that we had led us to this victory tonight. For retired educators, to our brothers and sisters in labor, we did this together. Special thank you to the love and the support of my partner, Sean. Uh, I'll never forget saying, you know, I think I'm gonna quit my job to run for Congress. <laughs> and Sean said, that's great, we'll talk about that in the morning. <laughs> but you know what? He's always understood that I didn't work for the TV station. I worked for the people of our district. I worked for the people that needed that accurate forecast and needed me to be on TV when the tornado was touching down and tearing up homes. And I wouldn't be here today without the support of my mom and my dad, George and Ruth Ann, who raised a nerdy weather kid. <laughs> given me those three words, not just I love you, but yes, we can. <laughs> and finally, to an amazing team at the campaign office early in the morning or late at night, putting thousands of miles on the car, just doing 14 counties in the past four days. Thank you all so much for understanding what this is about and believing that this isn't about me, this is about moving us forward. It's about having somebody in Congress that is gonna work for the people. Thank you, this is only possible because of your hard work and your determination. Look, we have a lot of challenges and hard work ahead of us. There are a lot of races that are still yet to be called. We're gonna grow our workforce right here. We're gonna do what's right. We're going to create new jobs at home. We're going to secure reproductive rights for everyone. <laughs> and we're going to make this region sustainable for our kids and our grandkids. Finally, a bright forecast for everyone here. The sun will rise tomorrow morning and our future will be bright. This is the honor of my life to be able to serve in this way, to have you all here, and thank you all so very much.